So what after you kind of like were collecting now since this young age, mm -hmm. what was your first like experience working in comics? Uh, working it was working in a comic shop in North Carolina, SNS Cards and Comics, and um, I got the job. I was working at an arcade, and I used to go get my comics there. And it was a husband and wife that that owned it, and uh, this is kind of my secret origin into retailing. But there was a gold cover edition of Gambit Number no. One that came out. And uh, the wife would be there working during the day, and the husband worked with the Coast Guard also. So I go in to buy my, my books that weekend. I was like, oh, how much is this? And she didn't know. Uh, and I was like, well, you know, she's like, I think it's $3 like the other one. I was like, I don't think so, but tell you what, find out, you know, call me at the arcade. It was before cell phones. <laughs> call me at the arcade, which was right, right around the corner. I said, if it's not too expensive, I'll buy it tomorrow. And uh, so she called me. She's like, thanks. Thank you so much, Mike. You know, that... That book is $30. My husband would have killed me if, <laughs> if I sold it to you for three. I was like, oh, it's all good. So the next time I went in, I told her it was too rich for my blood. Mm -hmm. You know, I was making like $5 an hour back then. And uh, But when I went in to buy some other comics, they offered me a job. And wow. that, that would be 1994, I think. <laughs> so I've been at it for a while. Wow. And yeah. That's so, crazy. Yeah. And so just you you kind of just being that, that person who's like, oh, no, like let, let find out what it's worth, and, and that's yeah. your, your backdoor into it. Got me a job. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, honesty always pays off. I it think, does. You know, yeah. I love it.